Mirana, Shadowfiend, something, Meepo, Crystal Man. Marcy. Meepo. Marcy, okay. Live here at the one and only. So, let's see how it goes with the Star Storm and the Deny is already one and one for XM leading, but did these guys get aggressive? I, I don't think that this is going to be 15 minutes. Yeah, especially Nisha. Also, XM, he's not afraid to call it as we've seen in the previous series when he was playing against the same matchup. Against Boxy? And, yeah, Boxy. Like, this is pretty much Nisha saying, Mirana, it doesn't seem like it's your best hero. Let's play it for the first game. Let us let me get some advantage. He did say it was not his best, but Boxy is a real good Mirana. Yeah, so, so is Nisha. This guy, he can play anything so far. Let's see. Four and two. XM sitting at three and two at the moment, but uh, yeah, the aggression. We said that we wanted to see it early on. That's hitting. The right clicks are in. Oh, needed one more. Didn't quite get it though. That's unfortunate. Double healing cell. Nisha might go for a cancellation here, but XM keeping the distance. XM at seven. So he's five behind. Now six. A last hitting with Marana, if you're not familiar with the hero, can be slightly tricky. I think Razor is also one of those heroes where it feels a bit different. The Razor animation, it's yes. like you hit and it's on the pullback of the, the whip. It's really weird. I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks that, but it, no, it it's, it's definitely not as instant as you think it is. Now Nisha, level three, XM. There's no glyph available yet. Starstorm. Hit him. Oh. Close, close, close. CS getting away a little bit from XM, Blood but I'm grenade. not going to make the same mistake twice, talking about the fact that maybe he needs to go for a kill down by this much CS. It's easily recoverable. We, I've, we've seen recoverable, I would say, at most 15, but in between 7 and 12 is like that peak you can get that back in a, in a wave or two. Yeah, it's very difficult. There's only four creeps in the wave. But sure, you, you can get four too. denies on top yeah. of that. But uh, as we also more... haven't seen. Yeah, the, the hero is there, so he will get something out of it. Some CS, yeah. some denies, and that also means you're not getting it. But XM, I would say he's doing better. Of course, Nisha still having the lead in terms of CS and denies. Nisha's going to have a full Bracer coming in. Meanwhile, the Courier for XM's all just regen at the moment. So that's the big difference here is Nisha's making progress on items. I think the big one would be if you manage to kill his Courier. We haven't seen a single Courier kill at leap XM. In from leap XM. In. Nisha needs to leap out. Still just right-clicking, going for the leap. Throws the arrow behind the leap and went for it. Went for the same Whoa. skill build yeah. as when he was playing against Boxy. That didn't bit. get too much out of that arrow. Maybe if the arrow hits here. I guess when you're playing a hero that you don't feel too comfortable playing, you need to risk it slightly more. And you can see Nisha. No points in that arrow, but uh, definitely needs to use the courier. It is very close to his mid lane. Leap again, Star Storm. No mana. So Nisha's sitting here with a couple of mangoes, but no mana regen at the moment. That's a little bit rough. Has Clarity's queued up, but XM. Oh, let's see. Nisha, it, it, there's one about mango. It. There's a Star Storm. That's a blood, blood grenade. grenade. That's, That's blood. gonna be. Ooh, should be first blood. He needed that extra right click, which he just barely got. Nicely done. Playing with the glyph. Nisha, like, he didn't have too much mana to work with, but just enough. Because XM, he's going for a different build. Uh, if he uses arrow, that's extra 90 mana. Your Star Storm level 3 is 100 mana. So if you're not getting the kill from that, that also means that you're con consuming a lot. And uh, maybe if we swatch, switch the network, we can see the difference. Because Nisha right now, he's investing into these items. It's not just consumables. Yeah, so. that's the big difference. Yeah, almost double his net worth. And, and that's going to be a big area of concern here is XM. You know, he's going to have to try and recover, but the problem now is he's down a, a kill. So going to be even in denies, not even in CS, plus down another 35 on the kill. 
So you need to really figure it out. How to get this kill, level six, two, one, three build, or three, one, two build. And if XM is able to, to get anything in terms of damage for a kill here, it's gonna be tough. I just don't know where it happens. Like, Nietzsche could play this safe, but he's not that kind of player. Oh, canceling his healing cell, so that's the extra 100 gold down the drain. And another one, Blood Four Grenade. Oh, oh, keeping him low. Well, this is not a real commitment from Nisha, only for 80 mana, and he lost, like, almost 200 gold there. Did get some value from those healing cells. Having he's got another Blood Grenade ready to go as well. Ooh, Star Storm double hits. He now knows that turn. he doesn't have any healing cells. What is he bringing on the courier? I don't think he brought a healing cell because he had two available, and now the courier needs to fly back. Yeah, that's the huge issue. Now has one, but it's I don't think it's enough. The thing right there is he tried to throw an arrow on Anisha under the tower, but the creep didn't die in time, so the arrow just hit the creep. He could have had Nisha. I don't know if I like this arrow build. I can understand why XM is going for it. And look we at the damage rooms. already. Star he needs Storm. that arrow. This He's... is looking like it's almost done and dusted, but... Take, take the haste rune, go to back to base. No one will notice. Yeah. Arrow. Keep it quiet. That... We will not like, say anything. Uh, uh, again, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> you kidding me? Again, if that had hit Nisha, I think that's a kill. Maybe, but he's in a really rough spot right now. Like XM, we've seen him call GG in the game Prior. versus Boxy yeah. when he didn't feel too comfortable playing it anymore. Nisha, those leap charges resort time is just much better. And also, if you're fake pumping your arrow, it also means you're not dealing Star damage Storm. and he's Got going him. for it. So Nisha with the victory early, and that's going to be one. I, I, I'm on XM's profile. I'm just slightly worried for the next two Meepo. games that he needs to play. Marcy. Unplayed Heroes, Meepo, Unplayed Hero, Marcy. Oh, no. And what's the last one again? It's Crystal, Crystal Maiden. Maiden. He also didn't play that hero. <laughs> you know, you got to remember, yes, professionally, he's never played those heroes yes. before. But when you're pubbing, or at least that used to be the case, I don't know if it still is, when you pub in China, it's all random draft. So, you gotta assume it comes out eventually, right? Uh, I guess, but it's not gonna be, you know, anything massive, most definitely. And a lot of commitment early on, as you say, for very relatively low CS. XM starting with slippers. I miss the good old days when you were starting with slippers, three branches, Healing Salve and Tango. That was the build. That was the Chad build. Tango given to you by somebody else? No, no, no. You buy Tangos, you buy Healing Salve, three branches, and slippers. Hmm. Okay. I would never expect mids to have bought their own Tangos at any point. Well, he's also building, because he has slippers right now. So some extra right clicks. He wants to have early advantage. Let's see. Nisha, CSing nicely, five and two. If you're XM, what's the game plan here? What's the game plan? Are you not playing as aggressively because you're down one? I think you need to, especially because you've seen the heroes. Uh, Nisha said that they're cooking something. Yeah, they cooked uh, a meal that XM never tried. Like, <laughs> he didn't Basically. play Marcy in professional games. Neither did he play Meepo. I mean, the, yeah, and the lower crew too was the band. So, like, there were so many things here. I feel like XM just didn't really have the experience on in terms of pro games. Yeah, Nisha outdrafted them in one when we won. <laughs> so far, so good. Pretty even. even. Two CS still coming into Nisha's range. Will not get it. Not get the first, but gets the second. Two minutes here. One of the matchups was done at this point. But now a couple there of raises, is. there's grenade. the blood grenade. Oh, short raise, XM it should be first trouble. blood. XM is in a lot of trouble, but who's gonna get the raise first? I don't know if they either oh, got the, the mana for play. it. Oh. Okay, let's see. The buyback. Oh. Okay, that is allowed. I was thinking about uh, whether that's gonna happen. To get the souls back, right? Yeah, he yeah. wants some extra XP. Buyback, not the rage one. 
So Nisha still needs extra seconds to come back into a lane, try to collect something. I think this is very valuable buyback. Because he got him with the Blood Grenade. Nisha, however, did get the XP. Right now, XM sitting on 11, while Nisha sitting at 7. Huh. Did not expect the buyback. Because next kill wins. And when it's the difference between, like, 3 and 4, it's not as much where I feel like, yeah, you can get that second kill. Yeah. We've seen Nisha, when he was playing against GPK, not being patient oh. enough, as he said. Maybe needed to wait a little bit more. He does have Blood Grenade. Both Blood Grenades are available. Throws it in. Extra damage. Slows him down. Cancels the healing salve. Both level 4 at the moment. Technically, with the buyback, yeah. XM's got the higher CS. That was a nice play. Yeah, it worked out. They both go for the raise. There's Blood in. Grenade. Looking for the second kill. Right click. XM the got him. Got him! XM evening up at one. That matchup, four minutes on the mark. There's a lot of region. I don't think in this one, especially if you want to go for a sidekick, you need to have as much region in your quick buy. Hmm. Maybe they'll see that as we get to sidekick and get to those levels. Dispose blood grenade early. That was, I want to say, dispose from both characters, both players. But this one's probably going to be pretty low and slow until six, right? Pretty much. Uh, I want to see, again, if it's going to be more points. Because maybe one point and rebound is fine. And there it is. Like, dispose onto dispose action. <laughs> Seems very great. <laughs> the dispose on a dispose. So now level two did take rebound. Did they both take rebound? They did. I guess that's an escape mechanism. It is. Yeah. If you get disposed under the tower. Her abilities are not mana costly. There's like 75, 70 level one. But like dispose there doesn't really do anything. Yeah, you're in tower range, but there's creeps here. So what's the point? I don't like it. It's doing too much otherwise. Another dispose, another dispose. It's like they're playing Leapfrog. Oh, there oh, it rebound is. Rebound action. Good, Good body, grenade, blocks. body blocks. Right clicks in. XM's going to be fine. This is why Marcy was always good. Like these body blocks. Something about this hero model feels really nice to body block with. Nisha, not a lot of mana remaining. So maybe. Okay. XM can pull Nisha in for a dispose, and that's what he dispose. does. So went level two into the rebound for Nisha. Different thinking. You can see like the players have different thinking when it comes down to skills that they need to pick up in this 1v1, and I like to see it, to see which one is actually better. Yeah. I mean, you're making the 1v1 meta here with Marcy, because I doubt this is ever played. So you're, you're Despite, like just sit back and enjoy. This might be the last time it first and the last time it ever happened. Definitely a possibility. That's the level two dispose right there. The only level one rebound. It's all about who gets to six first, I think. Uh, there's some kill threat, especially if they want to max out these abilities and not put any points in sidekick. We'll see. Dispose out of the tower. Should have rebounded immediately. Two tower shots though that do hit Nisha. Bit of mana available for XM, so maybe he can find the kill with the Dispose off cooldown now. He's got rebound on cooldown, I believe, for another seven seconds or so. So maybe it is mana and HP dependent matchup. It's because your mana pool is so small. It is. I mean, you started with like three something. Low three something. Rebound. Dispose into another dispose, and just but no again, mana for rebound. Is this gonna be the hoodwink matchup? No, because unleash no is just too strong. I, I guess so. So is sharpshooter. It's just that you become so tanky. But if they're investing a lot of gold into these consumables, they're not gonna be tanky. Whoa, what a play! Dispose into dispose again. Rebound, right clicks, just harassment damage so far. 
Dispose should be up in just a second. Again, it's about that rebound going 2 2. So nothing in the sidekick. Ooh, that's a Ooh, he tried. That was a nice play. He trying also, to get him under the tower. He also popped the glyph so the creeps can die, but didn't connect them with the rebound. Creeps under the tower. <laughs> Every single time here. you're underneath the tower, you ha need to have enough mana for a rebound. <laughs> that's one tower shot that he did take. Gets that self. He'll finally use it. What do you need to stop it? All right. So now they're going to high five in XM. He's got the rebound. This, this might, be, might it. be it, but he no doesn't mana. have the mana for the dispose. That definitely could have been the finisher there. If he'd had the mana for the dispose, you, you get it for sure. What is he bringing? A clarity for now. That was a nice blood grenade that canceled the healing self. So Courier still needs to fly from the base. Dispose, that'll stop the clarity, so that means only one dispose. Now the rebound under the tower, right clicks from the tower coming in as well as Nisha. And that kind of gives him a little bit of a health advantage, but the rebound in. Once more, they'll go back and forth. The last of his mana used uh -oh. on a dispose, but Nisha, he's lucky there's no mana here for XM, no mangoes. Nobody has mana, nobody has HP. Level six. Rebound. Another mango and that get, he just whoa. brought and he gets him. Dispose gets him. Okay, now you're level six. This is a big advantage. Just no mana, so he's gonna have to go back to base. He thinks he can farm this blade mill. No way. I mean it's a good move. Just, it it is, it is. You just go blade mill, he unleashes on you. Nisha wants to go. Nisha wants to finish this one. Bought Orb of Venom. We said that we wanted to see something different, some new items. That extra slow from, like, Dispose, because he's putting more points in Dispose compared to XM's rebound. If XM can get six before he it's, comes back, it's, it's level three. Game. That's 40% slow. There's he's the rebound. Going in. There's he the wants unleash. to kill. Dispose, dispose, a rebound away. He just needs to stay away. Oh, Orb of I don't think he we'll can, him. but he's surviving. Will him. And now he's got his own no. He gets the kill, he gets but he it. dies. Oh, the, the creeps and oh, Orb of Venom damage. Him yeah. <laughs> You're going to see, you know, much more Meepos going back, back poofing in with DPs, and I guess that's how the kill's going to happen. To say it again for people who just tu are tuning in, XM never played a game, for at least a professional game, on Meepo. Or Marcy, or Crystal, or Crystal Maiden. Maiden. That Has might Nisha be the fifth hero. played Crystal Maiden? Uh, we can check. We can check. In his professional career. Career? Uh, so th this matchup doesn't get exciting until the second Meepo, right? I would assume. I guess I, I don't know. Never seen this Meepo battling it out, battling it out against each other. I guess Wolf yeah, it's all one. just kind of its own thing, right? Let's see. Who ends up coming out ahead? Right now, even in CS. So, I mean, things are just poofing back and forth, just showing up at your doorstep. Both heroes, both players sitting at about half health. And they both win the same build so far. I thought maybe one of them might go into the net, but that probably means that net's going to be skipped for a bit. Poofing back and forth, getting that CS. It was also as we still sit even. his first official Marcy game on Nisha. Hmm. That's he only surprising. hasn't played Chen and Muerta. It's surprising because... Um, wasn't Marcy like a pause one for a little bit? She was, but not many people would pick up this hero. Also, you said his only two heroes that he didn't play, and that list did not include Crystal Maiden. Yes. So when was the last time you played Crystal Maiden? I, I just closed it, B-Cop. <laughs> <laughs> Should have thought of that question sooner. So poof, level two, some extra stats, and uh, what does XM have? Did he build into anything? No, only stats for now. So we're waiting for that level four divided we stand. 
but together we fall. Meepo is such a great character in Artifact. Not the strongest hero, but uh, there was a cool deck with Meepo. How much Artifact did you play? I played 2,000 hours of Artifact. 2,000 hours? Yeah, and then some extra of Artifact too. What? The beta version. You didn't even know that existed. <laughs> you just leak something on stream? What do you mean leak? I have no idea. It happened. It just, uh, you know, it was still in beta. I didn't leak anything. It was public. They're poofing. There it is. Uh, four Meepos. Four Meepos are better than one. Four legs good, two legs bad. Great book. Animal Farm. Yeah. Great book. Read it recently. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, how'd you like it? It was cool. Like, there's a lot of allegory in it, uh, of course, but, uh, you know, that guy was so ahead of his time. Still need to read the 1984. Yeah. You should read, uh, I think it's, I, I'm going to botch the number, but Fahrenheit 411? Yeah. yeah. Not, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. I think it's 411. You should read that. Whatever. Fahrenheit something, something, something. It's a good book. And I think remind they, me later. Remind yeah, me after. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's let's read the game. Let, uh, yeah, let's man. lead how it's going. So far, going really good for Misha, Meepo. who's on match points. Who's on Meepo? Yeah, and uh, no points in net at the moment. Going oh, back. he! Oh, 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 oh! Misha just got level five. He tried to TP in front of him. Oh, that's big. This uh -oh. is this is game losing. XM, a little bit of unluck here, I would yeah. say. That, he's sending the other Meepo back. This is the opportunity, because Nisha does have net. XM still think about putting a, putting a point in net, or maybe he needs more Ransack. XM's not allowed to see us now, even though he just got one. So their Meepo's gotta come back eventually, right? Just hanging out for a while, he'll go back, heal up. He doesn't have a TP, so he'll have that one poof back. And now the net. Immediately onto him. That comes in. Another set Who's of nets. Net the is that? poof. <laughs> Focus a different and one. He's forcing uh -oh. out these defensive poofs out of XM. You can see that he doesn't feel too comfortable playing the Meepo. Net in a second. I think he's just dead if he wanted to dive it. I thought he could, but he, I guess he doesn't have the glyph on the creeps. It could have been available. risky. Could have been risky. For XM. XM, yeah. Nisha already used it. Soon, scan to be available. Roshan yep. as well. There's a lot of stuff that uh, we can't use. Maybe we can use the scan, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Maybe if he's... No, I mean, when he's going back, so you decide to also walk back. If you, like... or But you don't know if he's going back or blocking the creep wave, so that's a downside. Sure. Nisha, going into power treads next. I noticed XM is that trouble. XM's not exactly microing the Meepos. He's like got one sitting back, stationary, not really doing anything. No. Oof, another deny. He needs to send another Meepo back, come back with the poof. He's going to play aggressive. He sees one net. Meepo and he's ready to go. He's going. The poofs, the nets, the right clicks. He's under the tower, but I don't know if he cares. One he more needs hit. one more and he'll get first blood. Now Nisha one kill away from being crowned the 1v1 champion. And XM and is going to call it. GG. He can't play on Meepo. So Nisha, he is going to be your champion in the 1v1s. Yeah. He does it for Liquid. As we said, the Nisha outdrafted XM <laughs> in this 1v1. 1v1. It definitely looked like it because XM doesn't play these heroes. Like yeah.